Hi, I'm Alan and this is Prayers to the Dice Gods and today we're starting the Orc Diaries and thanks to some comments on our last Orc video from Coach Coco we tried out some new things in this one. So our first suggestion was to try out a Zenithal highlight to see what kind of a difference that makes. So we're going to crack out the airbrush. We have in actual fact already put an undercoat onto this model which is just some wraith bone. So with our airbrush we're going to spray some light grey, we're just going to do that on the underside of the model and then we're going to swap over to the top where we're going to give it a nice spray of white ink just to give it a nice contrast between the grey to the white. Now looking at it immediately I thought maybe that grey was a little bit too light but this is the Orc Diary so we're going to make adjustments as we go along to find out what we like and see where we can take this. So the next suggestion was to try out using warp lightning for the skin instead of the orc flesh contrast paint. So we're gonna give that a try. I must say that is one very green paint when it goes on, making that skin maybe a little bit too, uh, I'm not sure what the word is, but it, it just kind of seems dark and really green and not quite fleshy like. So next up we're getting out the Blood Angels red. We're going to give this guy a red top exactly like the last model. And the reason for this is just so that we can see a really good side by side and see which one we prefer. Now this is the first time I actually noticed the difference that that grey undercoat had started to make. You know, as the bottom end of that top is actually grey while the top is actually the white. And I must say, it, it's not a bad variation on the contrast paint to make it not look quite so smooth. If you've watched the last Orc video, you will know that the only paints that we're allowed to use here that aren't a contrast paint are a silver and one of the base coats. So I've opted for a grey sear here. I do a quick clean up process before I go around all of the parts that I want to be a silverish colour. Now we get out the snake bite leather. We're going to go over all of the parts that we want to be brown. On this is really just the boots, the trousers, and a couple of little straps on that thing on his chest. Now the idea on the boots is actually they're not going to stay brown but it's one of those other suggestions from Coach Coco to try out using the snakebite leather with the silicone and grey over the top. So we're going to give that a go in a minute. If you like the video be sure to click on the like button below before our orcs find it and destroy it. Now getting out that basilicon and grey we're going to go over all of the silver parts and we're also going to go over those boots, see how that looks. And I must say, even before it's dried, I'm really quite liking the way those boots look. So we're just going to use some Gilliman flesh to go over the lips, the nose and the ears, just to give them an extra little bit of the contrast on the face. We're then going to get out Black Templar. We're going to go over the bits that want to be black. So the gun handle, just the pipe on his axe as well as doing his eyeballs. Now for this next part I wanted to try something a little bit different on the skin. I felt that it was not quite where I wanted it to be still. So I go around with some grey sea just picking out those top parts to highlight and we're going to put some yellow on and see how that looks. Using Nasdreg yellow on the one part on his axe just to give it a little bit more interest. So for the oil icon on his chest, we're going to crack out the Apothecary White. We're also going to put that onto one of his shoulder pads just to go over the symbol that's on there. So we've tried out some new things. We got some fantastic suggestions from Coach Coco, which we've gone through. I'm not a fan of the Warp Lightning, to be honest. It doesn't quite go the way I want it to. I like Orc skin to have just that yellow tinge. The highlights I've tried to do here using the grey here and the yellow have not worked anywhere near where I would like them to have. But it has given me an idea to sort that for the next one. As for our zenithal highlight, we definitely needs to go darker underneath. I think the top can be done with a simple grey sear spray. So I think for the next one we're going to go for a much darker grey zenithal. We're going to go for a much um, a grey sear top because I think the contrast paint will sit better on it than the white ink. The brown still looks great. Um, as for the boots, thank you Coach Coco. I absolutely love the way they've come out. That basilicon and grey over that brown, it just looks absolutely fantastic. One of the things I've noted is the basilicon and grey over the silver. I keep putting it on too thick, so I really need to thin that down before I put that on next time, just so that it doesn't go quite so far towards the grey and sticks more with the silver but in general I'm reasonably happy with the way that this is heading maybe not the model in particular he kind of looks like he's got some sort of face paint on 
which is fine he's an orc so we're just going to leave him like that so the next model we're going to try out if you've got any more suggestions put them in the comments below we'll certainly give them all a try and we'll see where we can get these orcs